Aloha YouTube, this is Crypto Roots. Um, yeah, you know, I may be using YouTube in an unconventional way as a content creator. Um, most people on this platform, you know, I wouldn't know what most people, their intentions are, but usually it's to make a dollar. And that's not bad, you know what I'm saying? I've made a few dollars off of YouTube. But as far as me personally, and as far as the brand Crypto Roots, um, I'm able to, to express myself. Uh, it just so happens that, you know, people watch or people are interested in hearing my, my, my experience um, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it helps for, for me to talk about it versus keeping it inside and then it becomes uh, infections in my dreams, you know, because that's how it's, what's happening is that all the details that I'm leaving out creep into my dreams and then they start to manifest inside my dreams and then I could hardly sleep. Uh, and I, you know, and then all types of emotions keep me awake. So I'm noticing the more I get out the easier it is on me uh, consciously. And it's good for people to uh, realize who Brother Polite, Michael, Michael Eugene Nowick, Michael Eugene Nowick, who he really is. He's a narcissistic sociopath. Um, and he plays the highest level of mind games right in front of your face, right on camera and in person. And he, he, what he does is he uses his knowing of notoriety. He knows he has a certain notoriety. And he uses that to keep you shut up. He doesn't say it, but he knows that. Based on how you can see, when you, when you pay attention to a narcissist such as Michael Nowick, Eugene Nowick, you're feeding into them and they feel like they're they're gods and um so they start to take advantage of of you because uh how of everyone sees them so pretty much people stay quiet because of the respect they assume everyone else has for this person so he uses this to to mind control people uh, especially ones who are closest to him right and as I'm vividly remembering, remembering my experience with them all the times, all the little nuances, I'm because I'm like, how did this happen to me? How, what, what happened in my life? And my like, I'm all analyzing, and I realize like, yo, this is not the first time this has happened to me. It's Michael Nowick has been like the fourth or fifth person in my personal life that has been a narcissist and took advantage of my, I, I can't say innocence or just genuineness uh, uh, to them. And so I'm noticing that, whoa, this is like a, re a reoccurring thing. Every few years, I run into someone who is, who just wants to take advantage of me, but it's not until much later that when I start doing my own thing and realizing, no, 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 they start causing turmoil and they get real upset or they start to lose some of their, when I leave or, or stop talking to these people, they start getting real weird. Um, so this is not the first time that this has happened to me, um, in all honesty. Yes, that dollar amount, but I've never, it wasn't the type of mentor, mentee thing, financial thing these other, they were, you know what I'm saying? But this just so happened to be it. And um, for, your, for those of you who do watch uh, Michael Nowick, Brother Polite, um, just understand that he's playing mind games with you while on camera. Understand that. He knows that it takes very little to make it look like he's successful. All he has to do is stand next to some nice cars and tell you they're his, and you'll believe it. All he, all you have to do is put on some clothes, 
uh, and go to an event, shake hands with a celebrity, or be at these, and, and, and you'll believe that he's on this status, but it takes very little to, to get by like that. You know what I'm saying? And the truth is, he doesn't have a home. He doesn't have a home and he doesn't have a car. They're living out of the hotel and they're, making, they're using the other mentees' money to rent cars. Like, so this is the reality of who this person is. And it just so happens that I'm getting deeper insight and the details I'm starting to figure out, and especially study narcissism, um, what, this, what, what, what type of sickness uh, this person has in, in his mind and how people are affected um, around him. He, like there's literally a web of lies that narcissists set up. And uh, like based on their own insecurity and ego, people around them suffer. And uh, what, you know what I'm saying? And this is how they get off. And so that's what, that's what feeds is the attention and the, and the act of taking advantage of people and having them suffer. He has low, low levels of empathy. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he, it felt no way to see me suffer. Like he didn't feel, he just said, yeah, it's, under, it's understandable. You never had this kind of money before. Uh, I, I get it, brother. I understand. I feel you. And then, you know what I'm saying? So one of the things that ends up happening with people who are fans of Brother Polite is that he, they end up kind of jeopardizing their relationship. And um, basically, the men want to emulate brother polite by having multiple wives so they go and suggest it with their wife or their spouse or whatever and they're not down with it and so we were in the car one day it was me him Aminette we were driving somewhere and something to do with his website his website being down so first of all I forgot to mention he's I told you he was complaining about the 60 G's in the bank I think that was a while a while ago I think I told you guys about that and he also said that something to do, they shut down his website. And he was blaming it on me that his website was shut down because his website brings in $10,000 a month. He was telling me this. This was kind of in the earlier sort of kind of, he's like, I remember he's like, something's wrong with your bank. And then he went into uh, his website's down and that he, he, he pulls in about $10,000 a month. And he was kind of hinting at me that I'm causing that trouble on his back, but it's all good. He's spiritual, you know. I'm, I'm he's, you know, if if I'm doing anything wrong, you know, what I'm saying the spirit. You know, and he was playing that. He was playing. These are the mind games these narcissists play, sociopaths play. So he was trying to, pretty much saying, "Yo, you making me lose out on even more money on the back end from my website, because my wife works it, and we pulling about ten thousand dollars a month." From the uh, courses, from the herbs and things we sell, da, da 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 da. But it's all good, G. I know you're not doing nothing wrong. I, I I trust you. I told my whole family. My whole family thinks you're doing something wrong. My whole family thinks you 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 a shady character. But I told him, nah, this this guy's good. He's a good he's a good dude. He's from Hawaii. He ba he barely even had anything. You know what I'm saying? So I trust you, and I tell my whole family that they should trust you. This is what he told me. No lie, no lie. So, I reason I brought up that. We were talking about his website, and I don't know if I mentioned something about, because I'm a web developer as well, you know what I'm saying? So we were talking about it, and he said he had another guy working on the website, but, because I'm like, yo, what's up with the app, Polite? Like, what's up with the website? He's like, oh, it, it wasn't right, it wasn't up to standards, I don't like to put anything with my name on it out there, that, that ain't good, that ain't, you know what I'm saying, top quality. So he's like, this guy that I'm working with, he, he's just, he, he, he don't know, really know what he's doing or something like, I hired him, but uh, every time there's something that needs to be changed, it's gotta be a couple days, like, and he was telling me about the situation that, uh, about the dude, I'm like, yo, that dude's not a developer. He was like, I know, huh? I was like, he's not a developer. He was like, yeah, one time uh, I asked the dude to change a picture on my website, and, it, and he said it would take him about two or three days. And I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, I'm a web developer, bro. I could change that in like less than two minutes. It's just a picture. And him and Aminette was like, I know, huh? 
Like, why is it, you know, I'm like, yo, polite, like, I got you, bro. Like, I, I, I can totally help you fix up your website. And he went in, he was like, he was telling me why he needed the picture changed. Because he said the guy who we, he was paying to do the website put a picture of him and Michael Black's, Michael Black's son's wife of him and Polite hugging or something like that. And then Polite's like, nah, I gotta get that off like now. Like that's not my wife. Like that's another man's wife. Like that picture, it could totally be misinterpreted. And he went into telling me that he, uh, Michael Black's son like kind of fucked up his marriage because he tried to get his wife uh, to have multiple women and she wasn't down with it. And she told Polite like how much her, like her husband secretly admires her, admires, my, admires him. And he was just like, I went to their house and he was like, the energy was all off. Like, and I felt like something was up. And he find, come to find out like Michael Blackson's trying to get his wife to have other multiple women. And Polite was like, it, it was like, it was just, it was just weird. It was just weird vibes, weird vibes. And I was like, yo, like, damn, like, yo, that's like, kind of like true. I hear like, pe you know, people try to emulate Brother Polite with the multiple wives thing and jeopardize, not everyone, but I'm, I, I definitely have heard online. I've definitely heard Sonetta mention it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even a few of my girlfriends are like, what, you want multiple women too? Da, da, da. So I, I, see what, I see what's happening, and I don't know if it gives some sick pleasure to, like, to try to see men try that and fail and like ruin their relationships or not. But I'm noticing this, there's a, he's just a narcissist. And trying to figure, you know, like all the little mind games he plays on camera and off camera. And um, he, mentioned, he mentioned Michael Black saying was trying to, uh, like fucked up his marriage by trying to have multiple wives because he secretly uh, uh, was fascinated by Brother Polite. Like, this was in the car, Polite told me all this. This is, I'm not making this up. And I'm not trying to like throw, I'm just telling you the story. I'm telling you all the little details of the story. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? And you put, you decide for yourself based on, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is ultimately meant to warn people about narcissists and their personal lives. Out, you know, he's a great example of one to learn from, and hopefully my story could help you stay away and be more aware, and just use better, better judgment. And you know, what I'm saying. So now, when I first got to LA, um, polite was like, buddy, buddy, like I can't wait to meet you. Like you sound like a cool dude. Uh, you know, he was just like, and then when I had like kind of questions, like I was little kind of like, he, this was the early stages, polite would be like immediately pick up like the first ring, immediately pick up and be like, yo, what's up brother? Like, da, 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 I have a question about some documents or something, how things, oh, it's going to go like this and it's supposed to go like this. Like, and I'm like, wow, like, thank you, polite. Like, you, like you just pick up an answer like so fast, like with such a good attitude, like. He's like, oh, brother, you, that's just how we do. You, we got to look out for each other like that. We got to look out for each other like that, brother. Like, and I was like, I was just like overwhelmed. Like, this was right there. Like, wow. Like, damn, like, this is legit. Like, he's, I'm not, you know, and he just had this, got me on this mind control. Like, I can absolutely trust him. And this is, this is the mind games that this sociopath plays. Because what he realized at some point uh, or whatever, he realized that he can get people to trust him, trust him by telling them information they never heard before. And that's what he ended up capitalizing on the most. You know, he realized, yo, I can get people to trust me and give me their money if I tell them all types of things constantly that they never heard before. They would look at me as if I'm just some, and so he, he, he figured this out. And I'm not saying, I, I'm one of, I'm not saying I, of course I fell for it, but I, I, I in the end, like, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about why this has happened metaphysically and spiritually and what's the whole purpose of this. I'm still analyzing this because the story's still playing out. But he figured that out. He can get people to trust him if he told them information they never heard before. And that's where the scam, narcissism, 
really zoned in as far as needing attention and um, how the whole how, how, how his whole thing his whole ego his whole ego uh, was is set up it's based on that root it's finding out new information and exploiting that and exploiting people's trust all for profit um, right so let's talk about his lifestyle and like I said I was with him like pretty pretty much every day if not in contact with him every day for for months at a time and a lot it, you know a lot happens in my life in a very short amount of times and my girl can tell you that one. like you know what I'm saying it feels like way over a year and it's only been a few months you feel me um, just because it's just things just happen fast now He brags, or bolt, whatever, about sleeping every other day. And yeah, he, he, he says, I sleep every other day. And he kind of makes it condescending, almost like that's what he accredits his genius to, is that he doesn't sleep as often as the ordinary individual. So he's studying or he makes it appear that he's, he tells the boy that he's you know so he says he sleeps every other day he even tells me i sleep every other day now me personally i know the importance of sleep and melanin and i know that it's but i'm thinking yo this is beast this is brother polite like yo like but i can't tell you how many times like he just stays up until he just knocks off Right, this is this polite. He's on his phone all the time, all the time, head down, on his phone. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm, this is my mind replaying. I'm not, like, being petty. Like, how did I get fucking finessed out of all that money right in front of, like, and I realized, like, yo, he hides himself from the world. He hides, he hides his emotions. He hides his intentions by always being on his phone. Always. Heads down, on his phone always so he hides he hides that he blocks it off until he falls asleep gets up back on his phone looks up if you address him uh huh 20 like dead all the time and he we would there's so many times where we stayed up so late doing whatever he wants to do we just slept in the car and just he just was in the beamer we'd be in the red parking spot on sunset boulevard or hollywood boulevard somewhere you know major and i'm waiting we're, we're following polite whatever polite me and the other mentee or whatever like you know what i'm saying and we're like why aren't we leaving like why aren't we leaving polite's just just in the sleep in the car just sleep and I'm like, sometimes I gotta knock on the window, like, like, like we gotta leave, like, the parking spot. And I don't know if it was a, I'm thinking, like, yo, I, I'm putting it all together, like, he was rent, I was paying for the car, like, he didn't have a car, he did, probably didn't want to go home to his wives, he just finds some way to stay up late and just, like, just Go through, and then you, you can watch on one of my YouTube videos. Yo, yo, we stayed up late, me and my mentee. We get no sleep. We out here hustling. We out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? And you can just tell how tired I am on the video. It's on my, it's on my channel. It's one of the uh, Crypto Roots Brother Polite where we get out of the car and talk. And so, and he would play basketball all day, I told you, and then just go home, be like, yo, I'm coming right back. And then I cop the call on my net, like, what's up with Polite? Like, I'm waiting. It's like, oh, he's asleep. Oh, he's asleep. So he just, just exhausts himself till he sleeps for like two, maybe three hours, and then gets back up. Like, and this is a, his lifestyle, bro. This is his lifestyle, and so that obviously that creates delusional. That creates a different sense of your a, a reality. You get out of touch with certain things. It's probably especially people, but and being so glued on his phone. I'm thinking, yo, this is how this dude made me feel like he's always busy, his brother polite, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, yo, that's so unhealthy. Like, me, like, 
that's unhealthy. Like, I, I'm just not on my phone. I even I get on my girl all the time about her being on her phone. And, but I'm just thinking like, yo, like, is this, he knows what he's doing. He's a health teacher. He's a, he's, he's a health dude. Like, he should, he should, you know what I'm saying? Who am I to question this guy? But let's, in all honesty, the, 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 the true person is there right in front of your face. You just have a different perception of them. And they know that and they, they capitalize that and they control your mind with how you perceive them. But if you look at them and they all, he, he hides away from the world. He hides away from himself and his duties. The reason why he, basically he was playing basketball all day, it, it, it was a childish d d response of, of ignoring, ignoring his responsibilities. Literally all day he played basketball, knowing that people paid for the course already. There's thousands of dollars. There's course through. There's a, there's a mentee or two sleeping in his car. He's got two or three different wa like he just plays basketball all day. And it's it's it's, it's he's, he what he does is uh, it's a childish response, and he chooses that things problems will just go away if he if he ignores it. So he stops. And he starts playing excuses with people. You're going to get paid two weeks from now. He just makes a response and ignores it. Ignores it. It'll just go away. They'll just stop calling me. I can block them. Like, just ignores, ignores things and feels like it's going to go away. Like, he feels like if he just ignores me, then I'm going to just not make a case. And not, you know what I'm saying? Try to get, try to get some sort of uh, justice. Like, it, it'll just go away. Like, you know, unfortunately, that, that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? And I, I realize that. He just ne neglects his re responsibilities, or uh, and and never follows up. So I'm I'm like, yo, there's like some deep shit going on with this person, and it sucks that his daughter has to suffer and not have a stable uh, environment, stable lifestyle, so she can actually develop a strong group of friends. Nah, she just has to move wherever they go. She has to be wherever they're at, and they have, she has to hang out whenever environment they hang out at. And whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like she has to get the scrapes of social, socialness based on the lifestyle that her, her father uh, lives or her parents live, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's unfair, man. I think that's unfair. I think that's unfair, um, right? And for other people who, uh, for other people, somebody, a couple people email me about the Tazane uh, does she really drive a Bentley? Does she really rent out Bentleys? It's like, no, nah, man. Like, she was a waitress at the restaurant we picked her up at before uh, her and Polite went out on a date. And they went on a date because he, he dropped the car off. I, uh, he, he took the car from me. And he didn't even want me to see the rest of the night. He didn't just, like, the most times he just had me drive out, kick it rest of the night, and then I go drop them off. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, y'all, gee, I'm gonna take the car from you tonight. When he, I picked him and him and his daughter came out in, uh, with the high heels and skirts and everything. And so he dropped me off and you know what I'm saying? I even like, he's like, yo, can I use the restroom? Yeah, yo, yo, polite, you can use the restroom, bro. Like, I got you, like, I'm, I'm looking out for this dude. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the car from you tonight. Uh, you know, da, 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 you know? So I don't know what happened and I'm not implying that anything happened. How long is it? 23. Okay, I'm not implying anything happened, but I'm just saying they were, it looked like, you know what I'm saying, that it was a straight up date, like, for real. So, um, that's, it, it is what it is. Um, so, we had like one mentoring session, and I can't say it was exactly a mentoring session because it's more polite talking about him, himself, and his life, and, you know, everything about him. And then, but he did break down some timeshare information about hustling timeshares. And I was like, I had to get out my notebook and I'm like trying to take down, and it's still new for me. I'm like, yo. And he's like, yo, I never give that information now. I, that's some extra shit. I, I'm already, I've already paid him over like $50,000 and already flew out to let, like, I'm, you know, and he's like, I, I really, that's, that's extra shit. I don't even really give that to my mentees. Right, and I'm like, yo. He's like, you gotta fly to Orlando. You gotta join this uh, organization. It's like, yo, like, do you really see me applying this like right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he made it seem like that's just some extra shit, and you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even part of the mentorship. Like, this whole timeshare hustle, and he was just t telling me about hustling timeshares and living out of them and flipping them and 
you know what I'm saying? And uh, that whole game, and apparently, you know, he knows, he knows the game. He knows the timeshare hustle game. You know what I'm saying? Um, when he first called me, we, when I was back in Hawaii, he was talking about how he had like Jewish billionaire friends and that they hire him for his metaphysical knowledge. And he, he you know, he's got different billionaire friends and shit like that. That's what he, he was really stamping it in like this, you know what I'm saying? But he was just like, yo, I got, I got billionaire friends, you know, yeah, they're Jewish and everything, but you know, they're still good guys and because he, he does the whole religious thing and you know what I'm saying? Um, so he, he just, just, you know, but they hired me for my metaphysics, you know what I'm saying? So da, 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 da. And I hang, you know, so he was just stamping that in extra hard, but, uh, he was like, yo, I, I got Jewish billionaire friends. And I was like, wait, polite? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I guess, you know, sometimes when you just hire up Echelon, you just have Jewish billionaire friends. Like, even though you've been fucking um, going off on, on, on religion hard. Um, so, now this is when the Nipsey Hussle murder happened. And I, I was in Mexico by the time. I'm not sure how to feel about polite. I'm angry, I'm upset, I want my money, I, I'm vulnerable, like, but I hear the Nipsey, Nipsey, Herder got, Nipsey uh, Hustle got murdered. And I'm thinking, yo, like, that's kind of like, yo, like, I felt, honestly, I felt worried for polite. Like, yo, polite was a crib, like, he's in LA, he's black, like, he could be seen as a, a, a black leader, like a target, like, and I, 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 I was like, yo, I, I, I don't know how I'm feeling. And then I'm like, yo, I think so. I'm like, still like polite, like I'm worried about you or, you know, I'm worried about you and your family. Like I'm still like just showing love. Maybe that this person really didn't do this to me and da, 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 da. Right. And because I, I knew he was going through a hard time financially. At least he admitted that, that do something right. And I already told you, I already told that in my other video. So I ended up talking to him, calling him. We started talking. He told me he just did a video, a video that went viral and he got some ad revenue, he got some YouTube funds from it. And now he's back on his feet and he's a little better, right? That's what he told me. And I kind of look and find out it was the Nipsey Hustle video or whatever. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, Damn, I'm thinking like he's a narcissist. Like, did he really? Like, I, I didn't even watch the whole video because I was so upset with him and him stealing my money. But I did tell him like, yo, man, I'm worried about you. Please take care of yourself. Like, uh, da, 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 da. And he's just like, yeah, G, yeah, you know, da, da, da. I'm back on my feet now, da, da, da. I got a little change from YouTube and da, 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 da. And I was just like, all right, but like, What's up with my money? What's up with my, yo, can you cash out me polite? Like, can you cash out me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna hit you back. I'm gonna hit you back. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look into it, G. I gotta talk to my folks. Like, constantly just, constantly pushing me off, man. Constantly. And I can't even believe it, you know what I'm saying? I don't, but I was like, yo, I'm worried for you, bro. Like, you know? I'm worried for you, man. Straight up. Like I, I, like I saw, I, I, you know, like, I don't know, like family or what, like, I don't know. I know how I cared and acted and behaved and treated him and his family. I know that. So that's all I can be responsible for is, is being genuine and kind and caring to them, you know? Um, for real. So, Michael Eugene Nowick, Juliet Natoya Smalls, and if you can find out Jessica Casey's middle name, please email me. I would like to know that. It will help me out with the case, and you know what I'm saying? Just solidify everything. Um, so I appreciate you guys for letting me, let me know that. Now, so, this is after the night I wanted uh, to kill myself in the hotel room. I gotta leave, it's done, it's a wrap.
but I got like $30 in my bank account. Um, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Nightmare situation. Nightmare. Nightmare. And I'm at the park in Beverly Hills. I got all my shit. I'm like hitting up people uh, that know polite, that polite. I'm asking random people for money. Like, yo, I need my Bitcoins coming in. Um, I, need, I, need, I need a little help. People are like, yo, I'm going to look into it. Look. And what happened? I thought you and Polite were making money. And I don't know, Polite just, I don't know, man. Polite, I thought we were making money, but he just, he didn't give me no money. I haven't made nothing from Polite and he has all my money. Um, so I ended up, I was like, yo, do you sleep in the park? And just wait it out a day or two until you get your deposit, Bitcoin, yeah, your USD deposit and get out the country. And I had like 30 bucks. So I went on Airbnb and I was looking, I was looking. I couldn't afford the 10th spot because that was 25 bucks a night. And I, I, I had something to do. And I was like, so I found another spot. It was like $18 or like $18 a night. And I went, I got it, I booked it. It was supposed to be like some hostel or whatever. Um, and it was low key in the hood. And it was like, yo, straight up, I'm not gonna lie, like, I slept in a room. It was like a halfway house, man. Like, it was like ex drug addicts. Like, it was like a bunch of just random drug addicts and uh, ex gang members, and you know what I'm saying? Sleep. So I, I slept in a room. It was like 10, 12 people. Like, they make the bunks. They make the bunks like, usually it's just two, right? They made it four and made it like yeah. at the top and they, and they had four different bunks. So four different people, four, I mean, yo. And I'm like, yo, I just had over a hundred grand. I just had like, I was just so down. And then I met this one dude who I'll never forget there. Like most of the people were there to chill, you know? But there was this one dude so doped up and fucked up out of his mind. Young guy, young gang, young uh, gang member uh, came in and was just like, what up, cuz? What up? Like staring me, walking me up. I'm like, yo, this dude is crazy. Like, I'm only, I'm, I'm, I'm like, only one night here. I'm just need to rest, get my shit together. I'm having a nightmare situation. I don't need any craziness. This guy goes up to me. Esau, Esau, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, would you, you do music, bro? You do music? This dude just ended up being uh, just the craziest dope head. He ended up sleeping in the, getting the same room. I had to switch rooms, and other people. It, it, I don't know, man. I'll never forget that. Like, polite did me that dirty, like. It's so crazy that I had just terrible, terrible, terrible nights. And I'm still, I'm, you know, having n not good nights because of the memories of that. And I can blame, like, I obviously I blame myself, but like, yo, I fell under a spell of a sociopath who has no empathy for you, from anyone. And so I slept in a room with like 12 other people people 12 other random dope heads man in LA like and um all because I, I I decided to invest in Brother Polite's mentorship man and um yeah so now Polite was low key talking, taking shots at everybody. Like he was taking shots at, I mean, shot Sonetta. Like this is him gossiping behind my back, not not behind my back, but like not knowing I'm really listening to other people on the phone. Like you know what I'm saying? Talking shit about Sonetta. He was talking shit about King Los to Amanet or whatever, saying King Los be lying about his age because of all his gray hair. Talk, he was low key talking shit about the Moors. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not like, I, I was just, cause I'm trying to like, this is my master teacher. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying, I've always, out of all the questions, people would, would like to ask him, I'm in, in the car and I finally get to ask him these questions. And his just response was just very, just nonchalant. Like, that's just stupid. Like, why would you even like not talking shit about Bobby Hemet 
uh, he was on the phone with someone talking shit about Bobby Hemet, like talking talking shit about Phil Valentine, like Phil Valentine be trying to trying to take him down, like um, just you know, just I don't know. It's, it, he's so full of himself, and I'm not saying like I don't know his personal situations with these people. But I'm noticing he's, he's constantly put, uh, putting people down that he's around or doing business with, right? So, um, is it still recording? Yes, we have low battery. Low battery? How much? Six percent. Six? Six? Yes. All right. Um, one second. We, let me know when it gets lo even lower. Is it, is, is You're it low? You're allowed to live on the edge. Okay. Uh, switch, switch seats. Um, here, I got it, I got it. So, um, you can plug it in. Yeah. Hopefully it's still recording. It is. Oh, um, okay. So, um, this is another mind game he played. So, he would be like, he would play basketball and he'd be like, you see me and my basketball friends? That's all we do, I don't, I don't hang out with them outside of basketball. You see uh, King Lowe's, you see uh, Loda Lux, like, you know what I'm saying? You see them? I, I only deal with them when it comes to music. I don't, be, I don't really be hanging out. See, dude, I, I, I like you. I hang around with, with you on my personal time, on my free time. I, I, when I do a certain things with other people, that's it. That's it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so it had me feeling like, yo, this dude generally really wants me to be around. Like, him and his family. Like, he really wants me to be around. Like, he's really got my back. And, like... So he would put down other people that he was just with, pretending to, or acting like, friend, and then be like, "You see, you see that? My, that's that's just that. That's just that. Me and you, you good. Like you good. You know what I'm saying? You know? So he played that on me. He played that on me. Um. Right. Now. <clears throat> people who follow polite personally are like shocked and I'm not going to say any names but they're just blown away and they're just like yo I can't believe this I need I, I'm letting other people know there's attorneys letting other attorneys in LA know or like you know what I'm saying like people are like this is crazy and uh, his own personal friends from back home are hitting me up. People he went to lodges with, people who were New Wabians with him, people, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, don't believe me, this doesn't make me feel better. Like, like, this doesn't, like, this is not like ego shit. I'm just surprised that, like, I'm at least blessed that other people are, are aware or finding out and, or at least separating themselves from this person. And that's, that's good because they don't need to be hurt. And other people, don't need to be hurt the way I'm hurt. I'm, st I'm still hurting, bro. I'm hurting on many different levels. And other people are hurting too because that's what happens with these webs of lies, with these narcissists. You know what I'm saying? So, and he owes two other, other people calling me, yo, Polite owes me $2,000 for, for him renting my car. And you know what I'm saying? And so other people are, are afraid to speak up because of, of his so, quote unquote notoriety. But they're telling me, they're calling to let me know, like, yo, like, he owes me money still. You know what I'm saying? And when I had to leave, I just like, yo, dude, I'm tired of you yelling at me, man. Like, I'm tired of always pissing you off and doing something upset because I felt like I, I couldn't, I didn't know who he was. I was just like, I'm just sick of this always yelling. He was like, no, nah, no, nah, you don't piss me off, bro. No, nah, no, nah, it's all good, G. No, nah, no, nah, sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes, like, you're, you're here to help me out, and I can learn about myself, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good. Like, I'm not a perfect person, and I'm learning that about being around you and talking to you and dealing with you, you know what I'm saying? So he kept getting me. Like, these are the little things he kept getting me to make me seem like he was actually an empathetic, caring person. And he would play these games with me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely play these games with me. Yeah, man. I, like I told him, man. I was just so scared. So scared of going back to being homeless. And you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, like I said in my other video, he just promised me that that will never be the case. Promised me that I would come up. Wait about, he's like, wait about three to five months. 
come up, bro. You straight up come up. This is I do this. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, I, I don't even know if I should mention it, but yeah, um, whew, it feels good talking about it, man. It really does, man. It really does. It really does. And um, yeah, man. So that's what part eleven. And this is not even meant to be like hella dramatic. It's just to show you the deep layers and levels and lies. This could be happening to someone you know. This could be next up to happen. Just, just, just recognize it and understand that um, this is some serious shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost took my own life, and or this person was ready to take mine. So. It's real shit. Aloha.